Hey YouTubers, it's that van guy again with another weekly store finds and mail deliveries video. Uh, I have a lot of cool stuff to show you that I got in the mail this week, but some of this is actually a carryover from the October buy sell trade local meet. Uh, I had a few things uh, taken out of the uh, box of all the stuff that I got from the buy sell trade meet uh, just to post pictures on Facebook or whatever to show my wife or or I can't remember why I separated them but I found a few things that I actually got at the meet um so we're go gonna go over those too as well as the stuff that I got in the mail and stuff that I found in stores um we can go through some of the stuff first that I'm not going to be opening that I'm I got for uh trading because I'm not going to be opening it. Uh, fleet Farm in my area. Uh, all the Fleet Farms have uh, opened up their toy land for Christmas. And they had a huge stock of uh, stuff. This uh, cargo carrier's uh, Volkswagen Sunnigan. Uh, in the cargo, the car culture cargo carrier's line. In the cases, there was only usually one per case of these. So they are pretty hard to come by. So they went for uh, more money because they were just, you know, supply and demand. They were harder to get. Uh, I have a couple uh, full sets available for, you know, purchase or trading. But I found the sun again at the fleet farm. And I know it's harder to get, so I just grabbed it to do uh, van trading or whatnot. So that one I'm not going to be opening because that one's not for me. I already have uh, one in my collection. Uh, some more stuff that I found at the fleet farm they had a bunch of these the first wave of this hot wheels 50th favorites so i got a bunch of these uh 71 dots and bluebird 510 wagon uh this one's a really popular one in my area uh this is usually never on the pegs when you get to the store they have other 50th favorites ones in the wave one but they never have the bluebird that's always gone so they had a bunch, I grabbed a bunch to try to resell or for uh, trading. Help out some of the uh, local guys in my club if they didn't have enough of these already. So those uh, are not for me, those are for trading. So those will not be opened. Uh, a couple other ones that I found. Um, there's a guy in a, a Mopar club that I'm in uh, for real cars. He actually uh, owns the Little Red Express truck, an actual one-to-one -one scale version of this and uh, he came for the first time to our local meet last month and i showed him the one that i had picked up for myself and he was very interested and he's like oh you're gonna have to get me one of those so uh last week at walmart i just happened to go in at the perfect time uh they brought the pallet was sitting out on the floor and they were just uh getting ready to put the stuff out on the pegs and uh i asked the guy if i could open the boxes i saw there was an unopened case Usually these are only one per case, so I was able to get this one for my car club friend that wanted one. And then uh, I uh, also grabbed a bunch for uh, local people in our club. So I just sent out like Facebook messages. And then this is another one that I found at the Fleet Farm. This is from Wave 1, just for trading. Just trying to help out my local guys in my local club, our local Facebook page. Uh, this one is a brand new uh, boogie van, Johnny Lightning from the Street Freak series. Uh, I ordered a pair of these online from eBay because um, I wanted to get them right away. I couldn't wait to find them in the store. Sometimes it's just nicer to order them online uh, or on eBay or wherever. So you know you're going to get it and you don't have to stress about, you know, hitting the store like five, six times a week, hoping that you're going to find it and somebody else isn't going to grab it before you. So I just happened to be at Walmart and uh, I found this one at my local Walmart on the peg. And uh, it's got a little bit of corners, a little bit bent here, but it doesn't bother me too much. Uh, with this Boogie Van series, I already have one of each of these loose. The uh, this is version B. There's a version A, a version B, but I wanted uh, one. I wanted a carded version and a loose version. So um, the carded ones I can wait for. So this is one of the carded ones. I'm going to keep that carded. That one's not going to be opened. 
Uh, obviously, I got some really cool stuff uh, to show you. This was actually something I got at our local meet. Uh, I do not have an RLC membership, Redline Club membership, so I wasn't able to order this, but I decided that I wanted one. Uh, it's super detailed and really cool, and uh, there's an awesome guy in our club named Shuresh. Uh, you might have heard of him from uh, Champion DJK's videos. He mentions him a lot. Great guy. Tries to help people out. Helps find uh, helps them find stuff they're looking for. Uh, you know, he's always out on the hunt and he finds a lot of cool stuff. So he, uh, I mentioned, I put out out there on our Facebook page that, hey, you know, I'd like to get one of these, but I don't have an RLC membership. So, uh, and I didn't want to pay like huge markup on eBay. So he said that he would order one for me and I just, he would, I could pay him at the meet. And he pretty much just charged me costs plus shipping. Most people would, you know, try to gouge you and, and upcharge you, but not him. That's why he's such a great guy. Uh, we'll take, we'll take this out of the, I'm going to open this one. So we are going to check it out. Um, I'll open it up out of the, uh, pack out of the, uh, Hot Wheels Protecto. So we can get a better look at the packaging. And let's see what number this is. If I can. It's kind of hard to read. It looks like it's. Um, I'm number 5,842 out of 12,000. Well, you can see that. Some people care about like what number it is. There's some sort of barcode or something where you can win something i think it's kind of cool on these how they have like the clear window in the back too and in the front so let's crack into it hopefully uh if this is making you cringe you can look away while i tear into this rlc collector piece these are all they are cool that they have this little extra plastic on the back um but it does always make it like harder to open Try not to touch it too much because it's got the super reflective paint. I don't want to get fingerprints all over it, but let's take a close look at it. This is the uh, one that was made on the Gas Monkey show. They had the Fast and Loud, I believe is the name of the show. And they uh, made one of these for Hot Wheels to try to see if they could. Uh, it could be made into a real vehicle or uh they made a real vehicle so it could be made into a hot wheels car so pretty cool really detailed super detailed engine interior um wheels i have a few of these um and the other i think it's a similar release there was a Shop Trucks one, I believe, and one other one. So a few of these already. But this is probably the most fancy or premium one. I don't believe it's a brand new casting. But I'm guessing I'm going to have to handle a little bit just so you can see all the detail. So you can see there's like the transmission. And the engine isn't backwards. It's got like a belt on it. Uh, I could take a look at the the uh, base and the wheels rubber wheels see the tiny little pizza cutter skinny wheels on the front like almost like a motorcycle wheel on it it's so skinny big nice uh, fat tires in the back I don't know if you can see into the interior at all looks like there might be one seat right in the middle with a steering wheel right in the middle, which is not normal. So, really cool piece. So, glad to have that one. And uh, next up, we got uh, a couple customs 
from the um, the meat. There's a guy in our local club named Matt Duncan. Yeah, he, uh, he's a graphic desi designer by trade, and he makes some really awesome customs. And he's kind of into some of the same stuff as me. He's into um, he's a van fan and a combat medic fan. He actually started a a, camp, a combat medic fan page on Facebook. If I remember, I'll try to include a link to that on Facebook. So he made a couple Halloween customs, and uh, he knows I'm a van guy, so he uh, sent me a message, and he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm definitely going to need one of these. So uh, I think I actually found him the raw vans i think i i had a few uh, extra halloween vans from the halloween series and he used those to make these customs let's take a closer look at some of the details spooktacular 2018 it's got like a skull and crossbones on top halloween candy hauler Pretty neat piece. Very awesome. So, super happy to have the Supervan uh, custom in my collection. And then uh, he also has, um, he also made uh, another Halloween version uh, on the Combat Medic. I had definitely had to get one of those as well. Um, really cool piece. And more of an adult uh, orientated custom. But it's very cool, very detailed, very kind of funny. When you're having a devil of a time with your costume, it says. It looks like she's having some troubles fitting into it. And then... Uh, there's some uh, another costume lady on top, a little more risque, but you know we are adult collectors. Take a look at that. High speed Halloween 2018. So love the flame job on this one. Uh, this is uh, his Facebook. Uh, Page for his customs is Cujo's Customs. I'll try to re remember and include a link to his customs page. He d usually makes very short runs of these customs. When he does make customs, he usually makes very short runs. So I'm thinking these vans and these combat medics, unless he makes a second batch of them, they're probably all gone already. But very cool piece. Uh, very happy to add that to my collection so take a if i remember check out the description of the video and uh, hopefully i'll have a link to the combat medics fan page and also the uh his customs page cujo's customs uh here's an anglia panel that i got online from got in the mail uh from a facebook group uh sk's diecast he does a lot of picture auctions on his uh Facebook page, SK Diecast. Um, and he had a loose one. And this is a color that I did not have. So I decided to uh, pick it up. I got a real good deal on it. Just a couple bucks. Uh, then I have another Inglia panel that I got from him. This is this uh, Hot Wheels Classic Series 2. Another Inglia panel truck in a different color that I do not have. If you want to take a quick look at the uh, card art, you can pause it if you want to read it. So let's crack into this one. I have quite a few of these uh, Inglia panels. I probably have 30 or so or maybe more. Looks like this one has the opening hood feature. Most of them do, but there are a few that don't. So this is just the uh, classic 
uh, Hot Wheels classics. You know, they keep they crank them out in five, six, eight different colors. And I like to try to collect them all if I can. So there's another uh, Anglia panel to add to the the jammer. These eventually will be going into display case. Another uh, one that I got from him is this uh, more rare Bob's Toy Show delivery van on the uh, Combat Medic casting. Uh, limited to 18,000. Limited edition 8,000. Or limited edition 8,000 it says. Bob's Toy Show. This might have been some sort of a comp... Uh, like a, a convention piece type thing. I don't know if there was an actual toy show. And this was sold at the toy show. So that's why it was limited edition. But uh, that one is going to get. This one's going to get opened. Here's some of the information off the back. There you go. There's the information on the meat. Or the show. But I did not have this one. I am a combat medic collector. So uh, this is another one I got from the SA, SK's diecast on Facebook. And I kind of, uh, this one's got real writers. Let's see here. I got it the right way. Doesn't say combat medic on it anywhere. Not much on the top, just uh, on the hood there. But let's take a closer look at that one. Let's see the detail. Most of these combat medics, if not all of them, they have the uh, opening doors in the back, although they don't open that easily. And sometimes when you do get them open, they're hard to get back together or closed. So this is the Bob's... Toy Show Combat Medic. Glad to add this one to the Combat Medic collection. And then uh, another one I found just the other night at Walmart is uh, this. Uh, there's a new Spider Man set with six different uh, vehicles in it. This is the Vanster. I do collect the Vanster. I believe I have every single one in the casting line now that this one is a new one. So I had to actually. I, of course, had to have this one to add to the collection. Put it in the display case with the rest. Uh, the only other one that I might be interested in is a Hot Wheels Pursuit, because it kind of reminds me of a Dodge Magnum. The rest of the cars i um, not too interested in. I might pick up a couple extra Vansters for trading. Uh, I like the black and the red wheels. The graphics on it, not so much. Like the Spider. The Spider-Man dude, I don't know what's up with his face. Like it, he looks like a pig or some sort of weird weird cartoon version of Spider-Man. I don't know what the deal is with that. I'm not a huge Spider-Man fan. I uh, don't know much about the cartoons and whatnot, so I'm not really sure what the deal is with the graphics on it. Uh, looks like it's uh, plastic base, metal body, plastic tires. I like the the royal blue windshield on it let's take a close look so yeah these just hit my local walmart but they didn't have very many they only had maybe one set of six or so and there were a few that were already gone so there weren't very many to pick from i could have hit other walmart stores but you know to pick up the other one that i wanted and a few more of these vans but i'm sure i'll find them in time there's no big rush i don't think these are going to be super popular they're probably mostly most likely going to be peg warmers so i don't think i have to rush out and hit a bunch of stores to get these i'm sure i'll find them in time and then uh, we got some really cool stuff from ebay uh, these uh, dwyer group johnny lightnings these are kind of uh harder to get uh, there's only, uh, I'm not exactly sure how many were made, but I know it was a limited quantity. It was kind of like a promo piece. But I'm really excited to get these. Uh, we'll take care of this uh, this dairy delivery. This is the Beatles one. I did not have this one. Fairly newer one. 
Um, and I'm a big uh, dairy delivery guy. I collect dairy deliveries. I have probably 60 of them or more. And uh, I just did not have this one. So I wanted to add it to my collection. I can't remember actually where I bought this one. I think I might have got it from a Facebook page or possibly eBay. I can't really remember where I got this one. But maybe even I got it at the local meet. I don't think so, though. Can't remember. Maybe I got it from a Facebook group, probably. But this is the uh, Beatles Pop Culture Dairy Delivery. Metal body, metal base, rubber wheels. So, glad to add that dairy delivery to my collection. All right, next are these this Dwyer group. I have one of these already, uh, and I picked. There's a total of six of these different ones. Uh, I believe the deal with this is this is like a promo piece. The Dwyer group was a company that owned like multiple service companies, uh, so they produced a batch of uh, van replicas for their different service companies. So they're all like uh, service vehicles. And I think there's like a red wheel version and there's a chrome wheel version. Although I have yet to see any chrome wheel versions anywhere for sale other than like on the internet. So I'm not really sure. Uh, the Johnny Lightning site that I use for information doesn't list a production number for these or for the chrome ones. So I don't know if the chrome ones are more rare. Are the red ones are more rare? I'm not really sure. It doesn't say. Uh, I would prefer the chrome version because it just looks more realistic. Um, but all I could find on eBay were the red wheel versions. And I'm not so obsessive that I need to collect all the wheel variations. I'm not really a variation guy. Um, if I was able to find all the chrome ones, I might sell these red ones depending on which one's more rare? If you guys know, maybe you can leave a comment. So, first one is, the, there's a total of six of these. I already have one. So, there, after we go through these, there'll only be one more that I need for my uh, Johnny Lightning uh, GMC Sierra Van collection. For At least for the Dwyer group. So, you got the Glass Doctor. Next up, we got... Another service van. This one is Air Serve, some sort of a heating and cooling, like heating and air conditioning company, I'm assuming. Another red wheel version. These are all going to be red wheel versions. So glad to have that one. You know, these aren't, generally, they aren't cheap. Uh, when I, I first found a seller selling them for like around ten dollars a piece and he had almost all of them for sale i really should have grabbed them up when i saw them but you figure well sometimes you see them on ebay and you're like oh well it doesn't seem like they're very rare because there's a few of these out on ebay and they're not selling for much so i didn't think too much of it i had some other items i wanted so i didn't buy them at the ten dollar price point i really should have because uh these cost me more than ten bucks some of these were in the $20 range or a little bit more. Uh, so I kind of kicking myself that I didn't snap them up at 10 bucks when I saw them. And now, you know, some of these I had to pay 20 or more plus shipping. So, but I just, I'm a completist and I really wanted to have them all. So I think Mr. Rooter is the only one that I do not have so far in addition to these. And then the last of the uh, Dwyer Group vans. There's this rainbow van. Rainbow International Carpet Carpet Care Restoration Specialists. So there are a bunch of different service vans, different uh, work trucks and whatnot. Uh, there's another one that I have. Not sure. Uh, the other one I have is Mr. Appliance, and then there's a Mr. Rooter. The Mr. Rooter one is the only one that I don't have. So as you can see, I have quite a few of these uh, G 
GMC Johnny Lightning vans. So just one or two more that I need to complete my collection of uh, all these Johnny Lightning GMC vans. I'm trying to work towards uh, collecting every single Johnny Lightning van ever released. Uh, except for White Lightnings. And I'm getting close to that. So probably uh, do some sort of a special video when I do reach that milestone. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you uh, enjoyed it, give it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, check out my Facebook page, That Fan Guy. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You have a great day.